isolation and identification of Xanthomonas species. Xanthomonas species are involved in plant infections. They are responsible for several plant diseases. So this practical is based on understanding the methodology for the isolation and identification of bacterial plant pathogens. So the aim of this practical is to isolate and identify Xanthomonas species. Since it is a plant pathogen, we will be isolating this pathogen from infected plant parts. So Xanthomonas, it is responsible for several plant diseases. One of them is Xanthomonas seed tree. Xanthomonas seed tree is responsible for a disease called as citrus canker. It is a disease of citrus plants such as lemon, orange, sweet lime and it is caused by this Xanthomonas citri bacteria. So it is one of the conspicuous disease in the citrus orchards in India. These are the symptoms of this disease that is citrus canker caused by Xanthomonas citri on lemon fruits. You can see the development of these lesions. These lesions can be seen on fruit surfaces on the rind as well as on leaves. So we can isolate this pathogen from these infected lesions either from leaves or from fruits. So this disease, as you can see in the picture, it is characterized by brown, scabby, irregular spots surrounded by dark brown, glossy margin on leaves, twigs and branches, as well as on fruits. Spots may increase in size up to 1 cm due to coalescing of smaller lesions. Xanthomonas citri, it is a gram-negative, straight, slender, rod-shaped bacterium which exists in pair or as single cells. It is a motile organism with polar flagellum. It is an aerobic organism. It produces catalase, that means it is catalase positive. Important feature of this bacterium is that it produces a gum called as xanthan gum, which is a type of polysaccharide. So this xanthan gum, it is of industrial importance. Another organism is Xanthomonas compestris plant variety citri, which is a subspecies. It can be isolated and identified from infected plant parts. Now the requirements for this practical are infected cankered lemon leaves or fruits. Then, for the purpose of disinfection or surface sterilization of lemons or leaves, we need to make use of several solutions such as mercury chloride, which is diluted 1 as to 1000 proportion. Then, sterile distilled water for the washing purpose and saline tubes, sterile empty petri dishes. This is all for the surface sterilization process and washing purpose.
then sterile nutrient agar plate we may use use of potato dextrose agar plates also or sterile starch agar plates also for the biochemical characterization we need to make use of several media indicators now this is according to the burgee's manual of determinative bacteriology there are several tests which are given in burgee's manual for the characterization of this organism that is bacteria so in this case in this practical will be using or performing only few tests so that we can tentatively identify or characterize this organism so these are selective tests these are sugar fermentation tests like glucose mannitol sucrose lactose so there is a peptone water base in which sugars in 1% like glucose mannitol sucrose and lactose are present with inverted der habs tube and an indicator dial such as bromothiamol blue or bromocrisol purple or phenol red that will indicate the production of acid and der habs tube will detect the production of gas then for the hydrolysis of gelatin protein gelatin but is required tryptone water to check whether the organism has ability to form indole then gpb tubes for methylride and bogus prosker test coser citrate broth for citrate utilization test then 3% H2O2 this is the preliminary test because this organism is catalase positive and then to check its urease activity christensen's urea medium the procedure for this is first to examine the given fruit or leaf sample note down the symptoms cut a piece of cankered part with the help of surface sterilized razor or blade which is dipped in alcohol and then it is flipped then the infected plant part is surface sterilized by dipping it in hgcl2 solution so that the contaminating surface flora microorganisms or bacteria will be eliminated then after dipping it in hgcl2 solution dip it in water for the purpose of cleaning because hgcl2 may also kill the desirable xanthomonas organisms also so in order to prevent that it is washed in water then the sample is ready for crushing the sample is crushed in sterile saline with the help of forceps and arrow and then that suspension is ready for staining we can go for gram staining of this extract and we can check the presence of gram negative rods then a loop full of this is spreaded onto nutrient agar plate and then it is incubated at room temperature or 30 degrees celsius 
then the plates are observed next day for the development of colonies of xanthonas tree which are slimy because of the production of polysaccharide that is xanthan glistening yellow colored colonies of xanthomonas will develop on the plate then next thing is we need to record the colony characteristics then proceed for gram staining and proceed for motility then for biochemical characterization inoculate a loop full of colony suspension prepare a colony suspension and inoculate that into the different sugar fermentation tubes and other tests which have been mentioned in requirements now the results so these will be the types of colonies glossy gummy and big colonies with yellow color record the colony characteristics these colonies are big as big as 1 to 2 mm circular in shape yellow colored gummy or sticky with entire margin elevated and opaque these are the results of biochemical characterizations glucose fermentation test there is presence of acid and gas so it is positive for sucrose it is positive for mannitol it is positive starch hydrolysis presence of zone of clearance after the addition of iodine positive catalyst test positive so from these biochemical characteristics we can conclude like this from all the morphological and biochemical characteristics the isolated bacteria may be xanthomonas citri however further biochemical characterization is needed for confirmation because burgee's manual of determinative bacteriology it gives uh, several tests hundreds of tests to confirm the identity of that organism so here we have carried out only four to five tests and therefore it does not confirm the organism and therefore we are saying here that the organism may be xanthomonas citri and we need to confirm it by performing several other tests